okay. which was fantastic. Um, Dalton Castle was on there as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cedric Alexander. Uh, they, 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 there was almost a friend of the show in every match, Sork. <laughs> I mean, let, let's be real about it. They're almost. It's amazing that it's amazing you buy a pay per view. We're like, I know that guy, um, but uh, but that's that's great. So, how was the show in general? Like, you know, especially compared recently with uh, our NXT takeovers and our WWE battlegrounds or whatever the heck we're watching this month. Um, how how did this compare in general? It had a great second half. Second half. It yeah. had a, it had a great second half of the like the last three to four matches were really fun. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if it's because I'm not huge into Ring of Honor yet, mm-hmm. but the last the last couple of matches I thought were really good. The first ones were a little slow to me. I I thought the uh, I I kind of I kind of feel where you're coming from there, Mike. Uh, I thought everything from the triple threat number one contenders match on mm-hmm. was just almost pure gangbusters from there on out. Mm-hmm. But that's not to slight on on the star of the card. I thought. I mean, I, hey, friend of the show, I thought Dalton Castle versus Silas Young was awesome. And it's just like that perfect, perfect matchup between, you know, Party Peacock and, you know, what, what, what's the Silas? Uh, the last, the last, the last real man. Real man. Oh, I, like, I like him too. Anyway, yeah, that was a good showing. I really want to talk about um, that main event because the Battle of the Jays was well, for, spectacular. For, fill, fill me in. What were these other matches? What was the three-way you were mentioning? What's, what's the uh, kind of the top of the card that, that, that kind of uh, uh, really got you guys going uh, before you get into the main event? All right. Uh, the the, the, uh, the three-way for the number one contendership was Moose versus Roderick Strong versus Michael Elgin. Hmm. Um, and, uh, y- you know... I don't see a lot of Roderick Strong, and I haven't watched a lot of his matches, you know, in, in the past. But like, there's this like groundswell of buzz for Roddy Strong right now. Like, he's having just incredible matches. I hear all these great things about what he's doing in PWG, and he's still kicking ass in ROH, and he is unattached to ROH at this point. But he won the n- number one contenders match, so that's um, it, it was it was a pretty awesome match. Even Michael Elgin looked it, it impressed me in this match, and usually I'm like, I'm I'm, I'm over it. But oh, what do you yeah. think, Mike? Elgin's yeah, awesome. Yeah, I'm. I'm not generally a fan of Roderick Strong, but I really liked him in this match. Uh, I was a little disappointed that Moose didn't get it, especially after taking his first loss on TV this week. But the way that they did it, I understand why uh, Moose is apparently going to be entering into a feud with Cedric Alexander, who Ooh. is now accompanied by a uh, friend of the show, Veda Scott. So it should be interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, Let me try to think of what came after that. Oh, oh the six man tag. The six man tag. We gotta talk about the six man tag. Yeah, the, six man tag. The, the kingdom of uh, Bennett, Taven, Bennett, and, Taven um, Adam Cole, baby, Adam Cole, baby, and Maria in their corner versus the Bullet Club, the Young Bucks, and AJ Styles. Ooh. Like oh. th- this was, this was. I, I will not put this over the main event, but this was the number two match of the night. The only crazy. The only- Oh my god! It was it was ballistic. It was absolutely yeah. ballistic. The only thing about this match that I wasn't too keen on was why did we have to have a three on one against Maria Canellis? Well, Mike, <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up because I know you're a little bit miffed about that. But I I think it's time for you to stop a, stop stop trying to apply your 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 slanted WWE watching morality onto other professional wrestling programs. I you think know, it's time for other wrestling programs to start doing that. Though. Hey, my hand goes up, your mouth goes shut. All right. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wrong show. Canales, wrong show. Wrong show. <laughs> Maria Canellis wants to simultaneously take a Pele kick and two super kicks at the same time, and she could do that. And she also delivered a super kick of her own, Mike. She had it coming. Probably not, but it's unbelievable. <laughs> Listen, Maria. Yeah, uh, Matt, 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 uh, this is for future reference. The she had it coming defense never works too well. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, <laughs> Damn it. Got me again. Yes. All right. But otherwise, the match is fantastic. Um, so many super kicks. Uh, they did an indie, an indie taker passed off into a Styles Clash for the finish, which was amazing. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> they did it in a... Um, they did the um, j- just one other part of the match that I think is worth. 
I wanted to mention. They did a uh, setup for a triple dive, a, a triple plancha over the top rope. The, the, the Bullet Club is is the ones doing the plancha. The Kingdom, all three of them dodge the plancha. All three Bullet Club members land on their feet on the outside and eat stereo super kicks mm-hmm. from the Kingdom. Just, yeah, you got to see some of this stuff to believe it. And it's yes, it's completely choreographed. And yes, no one's selling anything. But you know oh, what? Of course not. It's freaking awesome. You know, it is the only match of the show that really kind of pushed it that far. The only person that sold in that match was Maria. (laughs) The only person that sold in that match was Maria. That was literally the only person. Uh, That was good stuff. Yeah, there was a lot of three-on-one at the end with Adam Cole kind of just getting mercilessly beat up.